everyone. Welcome to KubeCon Cloud NativeCon, the biggest one in Europe yet. If you're wondering why I'm on a screen and not in person on the stage, well, it's because they wouldn't let me on the plane with a baby on the way. I hope to become a mom any day now, and I am so grateful to be able to share this personal evolution with you. This community is rich with examples of folks blending family life and cloud native contributions. In fact, Emily Fox and Aparna Subramaniam, who are co-chairing this event, are both parents, and I know how much hard work they put into this community. I hope to follow their example. Even the kids in Cloud Native are a small but integral part of our community. Steven Chin is a board member, and his daughter Cassandra has joined us for many KubeCons. And she's now contributing back by running Kids Day at the event. You should definitely check it out and consider getting involved. The best part about this community is that we're constantly evolving, from personal journeys to technological ones. Progress is our only constant. I remember back in 2015 when CNCF was first founded. Kubernetes was our only project and operationalizing it was a huge challenge. Kubernetes the hard way is how many of us learned to use it. By contrast, today we have 159 projects in the ecosystem and Kubernetes takes just seconds to get started. Now, some of you may not believe that last part I just said, so let me show it to you. I'm going to use Kind, which is a test harness that Kubernetes uses to test itself. A handy thing about it is that anybody, you and me, can use it to spin up a cluster quickly. A big thanks to Ben the Elder for creating it. So on this computer, all I have are Homebrew, Docker, kubectl, which is how you interact with Kubernetes in the command line, and Kind installed. That is all I need for configuration and resource management of Kubernetes. So let's go create our kind cluster. Okay, so I will do kind create cluster. I think to give a nod to demos of the past, why don't we play one of my favorite games, Tetris? Cluster's ready, that was fast. All right, I will use kubectl to apply the Kubernetes manifest. Uh-oh, I need to close this window soon or I'll be playing forever. <laughs> and there you have it. We successfully deployed Tetris using a kind cluster. And now, because I'm a good citizen, I am going to go delete my cluster. Kubernetes has continued to evolve and it keeps getting easier to use. But if you ask most people, cloud native is still complex. This complexity comes from the ecosystem that has been built on top of Kubernetes. There are projects, for instance, to support the GitOps movement to help with deployment and delivery mechanisms. Security is of ever more importance, and that is why there are projects like Falco and OPA. And then there's the developer experience, which is the ultimate priority, and thereby you have projects like Backstage. So yes, you all still need to keep coming to the KubeCons. There's lots to do, lots to learn for all of us. In fact, I'm not going to be surprised if during my maternity leave, some major breakthrough happens and I'll be back in KubeCon in Chicago with a whole new exciting cloud native story to tell. Maybe it'll come from the land of WebAssembly, like who knows? But until then, I will leave you in the very capable hands of our CTO, Chris Anischek, who will share now the latest and greatest from this beautiful cloud native community in Bloom and be here to support you along with the rest of the CNCF team. Takes a village to raise ecosystems, just like children, and we will do it all together. Please welcome Chris Anischek, CTO, Cloud Native Computing Foundation. Hello, hello everyone. It's amazing to be here and seeing this incredible audience out there. Uh, I'm really sad Priyanka couldn't make it, but obviously she's a little bit uh, busy these uh, days. So um, to kind of kick things off, 
there are 10,000 plus people that are attending this KubeCon Cloud Native Con today in Europe. It is our largest KubeCon Cloud Native Con in Europe that we have ever done. It is completely sold out. And for those who aren't aware, this is now the largest open source conference in Europe. So congratulate all yourself for making this happen. We super appreciate it. So thank you for being here and, and being all part of the open source and cloud native movement. So of all the 10,000 people here, before we kind of fully get started, 58% of you have never attended a KubeCon before, which is wild to me as someone who has been in this ecosystem for a while. So I personally want to extend a welcome to all y'all here and thank you for attending and hope you learn something new. For the veterans in this room that have been to a couple of KubeCons, make a friend, treat folks with kindness and, and respect and truly make them part of our, of our community. So when we we're planning this event, uh, it, was a little bit it was a little bit tough to judge how many people would actually uh, show up, if you would believe it or not, because we generally plan these things out a year and a half to two years out. And you know, as we were getting closer to the actual event, there was 2,000 people on the wait list here that could not get in. And we do feel pretty bad about that, <laughs> feel terrible uh, actually, but I have some good news to share. So next year, we are going to do KubeCon, Cloud Native Con Europe in Paris, March 19th through 22nd, and we are going to be able to fit many more people, and hopefully we get to avoid the whole crazy waitlist problem, which I'm super sorry for. So I hope to see many, many of you in uh, Paris next year in, in March. It should be uh, beautiful at that time. Speaking more about events, we have been away from China for the last few years, obviously due to crazy things happening in, in the world. I am happy to announce we are coming back, bringing back KubeCon Cloud Native Con China later this year in September 25th or 27th. Very excited to come back there. CFP will be open soon, so hope to see many of you uh, out there if you can make it. So very, very excited to, to make that uh, happen. And finally, uh, for those of the folks that couldn't make it and, and really, really kind of want to get some face-to-face -face interaction and collaboration, we have an event coming up in a little under a month from now in Vancouver, Canada that is targeted to modern application delivery practices, things like GitOps, continuous delivery, and so on. So if that is something that interests you in your organization, check it out. Uh, we are happy to host that out in uh, Vancouver uh, next month. So with all the event news out of the way, let's uh, talk a little bit about what's going on in cloud native land. So from Priyanka's lovely introduction, um, it, it's truly been amazing to see how much this community has evolved. In the beginning, we were very much focused on Kubernetes and uh, containers and kind of the evolution of that, but we have grown significantly over, uh, over the years. Uh, and, you know, obviously from outside this building, you could see that the theme of our conference is a community in bloom. We're in Amsterdam this time of year, which has been going on these lovely runs, and you see flowers everywhere. So it's just, just I think, kind of mixes with the vibe that we have in our community with an incredible amount of projects that have grown over time in CNCF. We have 159 projects as of today that have entered the ecosystem that touch almost everything uh, around cloud native, not only just the core infrastructure bits, but things like IDPs with backstage, amazing security projects. We have stuff in cost management. So we kind of continuously evolve, and I, I truly view, view projects as our core innovation engine in, in CNCF. What's also amazing, we are one of the largest open source ecosystems out there. We have 1,300 amazing maintainers in CNCF that are responsible for developing uh, these projects, and they are managing 200,000 contributors worldwide spanning 188 countries. So uh, if you're a maintainer and you're sitting in the audience, I want to thank you. You have a crazy job, so give them uh, a round of applause for the amazing work that they do. CNCF has also been growing in terms of our 
essentially regional chapters. We call them community groups. We have over uh, 52,000 folks attending 406 regional chapters all over the world. It's incredible how much this has grown. We can't do KubeCon everywhere, but we have an amazing community putting on events, meetups, uh, and things like Kubernetes Communities, which is our kind of new concept of a event you know, for the community, by the community. So thank you to everyone that is putting these together. And if you're truly interested in uh, meeting up with your local community, go to community.cncf.io and take a look uh, there to see how you could get involved. So in terms of some new things to share, Kubernetes, obviously uh, our first project. Uh, it's been amazing how much it's grown. Today we're announcing a refresh of some of these project journey reports that we publish for the projects that graduate in CNCF. Uh, as you're aware, Kubernetes graduated a little while ago, and uh, these reports truly detail what has happened to the project from inception to graduation to where they are now. And I don't have time to kind of fully dive into all the numbers, but I'll kind of share with you. It's, it's kind of a fun story to tell where Kubernetes started out originally from Google, who obviously did a lot of the heavy lifting. Over time, many other new companies individuals and organizations came in and contributed. So where Google maybe was doing the majority of the work in the beginning, now is only doing a little bit over the quarter. And what, what is amazing here to show is, cumulatively, contributions haven't really slowed down by, by truly anyone involved. So it continues to kind of grow and become a diverse and, and kind of growing community. So these are just amazing reports that we put together and I highly recommend you, you take a look at them for, for kind of deep dive details on things. So truly amazing uh, information to share with all y'all. The other thing that we'd like to announce uh, today is the CNCF, we have funded over $2 million in security audits work across our different projects. And today, we are open sourcing the latest Kubernetes security audit available for everyone to learn from and see how they can improve their own practices. I'd like to especially thank the Kubernetes Security Working Group, the amazing secu CNCF security tag that does amazing work in proving practices. You can go check out this work. There's this lovely QR code available, but uh, it's amazing work and we'll continue to improve the security of our projects uh, over time. The other important thing we do, as we continue to grow as a community, we keep having new and new folks that come together and, and, and join us. And you know, as someone has been here for a while, it could be a little bit confusing. So what we have done recently is invest in inclusive, pre-professional, entry-level certifications and trainings. And today, I'm happy to announce that the Kubernetes and Cloud Native Security Associate uh, certification is out of beta and fully available for everyone to learn. Uh, if you're truly interested in improving security and making that a career path of yours, this is an excellent certification to kind of get started with. And we have sister associate level certifications. So please check them out. They're amazing. All right. We are now growing as an organization. We have lots of members that support and sustain us over time. We're over 800 members, a little under a quarter of them are end user members. End user members or organizations like your, your Apples, your Mercedes-Benz of the world that essentially are users of software, but still find ways to contribute and participate in our organization. And as you know, every KubeCon, we generally like to announce some new members, so today, I would like to announce some new gold members. Uh, EY and Hitachi are joining us and supporting us, so I'd like to welcome them and congratulate them uh, in joining us and supporting a community. So a quick round of applause for EY and Hitachi. Thank you. We also have some new platinum members, which is the highest level of membership in CNCF. These are folks that are truly committed in supporting us on uh, you know, a, a high level. And today, I'm happy to welcome HCL and Infosys to the CNCF community as platinum members. So give them a round of applause. And with them joining, we're gonna hear from them today a little bit about what they're doing with cloud native technology projects and how they plan to contribute to the community. To kind of kick things off, I'd like to first introduce Gotham to the stage to talk a little bit about what they're doing in Infosys in uh, the cloud native uh, world. So welcome Gotham. Thanks, Chris. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor to be here to represent Infosys and talk about our investments and commitment to CNCF. 
let me start by saying Infosys loves cloud native, and that's the emotion that binds us all together. Uh, the promise of cloud native technologies to, to build the apps of tomorrow. A little bit about Infosys, uh, we are $18.2 billion in revenue, 62% of that comes from digital services, uh, 40 years uh, plus since inception, we have about 1,900 clients spread across 50 countries globally. We are uh, the, uh, one of the top three brands, IT services brands globally. We are a top employer of choice, and uh, we've been rated world's most uh, ethical companies uh, three years consecutively. Infosys Cobalt is our umbrella brand for all our services, platforms, and solutions that span hybrid cloud, edge, IoT, 5G, and AI. We have about 80,000 cloud assets, 300 industry solutions, and we have 100,000 plus talents within the company who are trained and certified on cloud native technologies. Our offerings obviously cover all aspects of cloud native development, needless to say. Uh, the trends that we are seeing um, across our client base, security is, is obviously paramount. There is a move towards platform as a service and serverless options on the public cloud. In this economy, cost consciousness is obviously uh, increasing and cloud cost optimization uh, is, is uh, top of the mind with our clients. And last but not the least, automation, hyper-automation on how these apps are uh, built. So these trends are shaping how our offerings are evolving. Uh, we are bringing in AI uh, adoption across the life cycle. There's obviously an increased focus on tooling and practices on costs, and moving towards a platform ops-based approach which is where uh, our live enterprise app development platform comes into play. We have uh, incorporated uh, about 12 projects from CNCF and other hyperscaler options within the platform. And the developers just have to write the functional logic. Most of the boilerplate code gets generated by the platform. What I want to say is that we have been contributing through a bunch of enthusiastic developers with an emphasis, but going forward, we want to contribute upstream uh, to the upstream projects through our open source program management office, and um, we would like to collaborate with the community to help our clients transform to become an AI-first live enterprise. Thank you. Thanks. Sir. Thanks, Chris. Thank you, Gotham. So next up, oh, we have a little, uh, all right, <laughs> a little snafu. So next up, we're going to hear from Alan, and he's going to talk a little bit about how HCL uh, is using CNCF projects and how they plan to contribute. So come on, Alan, on stage and tell us a little bit about what you're up to. Go. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. Welcome. It's an utter privilege to see how this community has grown in recent years. HCL, as one of the longest standing supporters of both the CNCF, the Linux Foundation, and of course Kubernetes, is delighted to extend our sponsorship of this community and become a platinum member of the CNCF. Many of you might know HCL as one of the world's top software vendors, we're the industry leader in technology engineering, an industry leader in cloud modernization and digital transformation too. But what you really need to know is that HCL is the number one enabler of Kubernetes and cloud native solutions in our industry. We recently hit a key milestone. We've now enabled Kubernetes and Kubernetes-based solutions in over 1,000 of the world's largest enterprises. That's testament to the growing success and popularity of everything that you do. We have over 200,000 engineers 
working at HCL. We lead with CNCF, we lead with open source, we lead with Kubernetes. A little bit about our journey with open source and CNCF. We've been in this for the long haul. Our commitment to CNCF is absolute. Nearly seven years ago, we decided that the Linux Foundation was the one community that HCL wanted to support and grow. Shortly thereafter, we decided to sponsor all of the popular communities within Linux Foundation. We joined the Cloud Foundry Foundation. We joined as a gold member because it's important to us that we genuinely sponsor this community. We joined the CNCF three years ago. We joined the CNCF because it was obvious to us as the industry leader in large enterprise solutions that Kubernetes was going to become dominant. More recently, we joined the FinOps Foundation. And now today, I'm very happy to announce that we've gone full in on Kubernetes and the CNCF as a platinum sponsor. We are the industry's number one accelerator and enabler of cloud native solutions. Most importantly, if any of you have struggled or have been challenged with accelerating Kubernetes or any of these projects within your organization, you need to know that in HCL, we run the industry's largest cloud native enablement capability. We have cloud native labs where we run every single Kubernetes distro. We run every possible combination of CNCF projects in a production environment, and we make these available to you to help accelerate adoption of all of these projects. So in conclusion, really happy to announce our platinum sponsorship. We want HCL to now supercharge the progress of the CNCF, and we are delighted to join you on this journey. Chris, thanks very much. Thank you, Alan. Appreciate it. Yeah, I know it's, it's great to see two large leading companies uh, commit to CNCF, not only in supporting us, but also committing to working with upstream and hiring maintainers. Truly amazing to see this happen. So thank you both, uh, Alan and, and, and Gotham. Um, so to kind of uh, take us a little bit toward, towards the end here is, um, you know, the last few months have been a little bit crazy for me. I've been uh, a little bit all over the world. I've been in China, Tokyo, uh, different parts of Europe, uh, bouncing around North America, South America. And through that kind of travel, I've met a lot of our different, you know, interesting member organizations and folks that have been adopting and using CNCF projects in interesting, truly amazing ways and appreciate all the hospitality that folks have given me uh, through that journey while hearing how they adopt CNCF projects. A subset of those folks I have met are truly going above and beyond the what we would expect normally from folks. And uh, today, I especially want to uh, recognize some of those folks and uh, have everyone in this room kind of know who they are. So we are announcing our latest class of uh, CNCF for Cloud Native Ambassadors. These folks do amazing work promoting things in their local geographies. So uh, I want to congratulate them for the LA class. We have over 155 of them so thank you all there should be a spotlight uh, where they are there so thank you all over <laughs> if you're especially new find them they're the best people to talk to um, thank you thank you all so Another thing that I'd like to, you know, mention, especially around, you know, uh, sustaining open source projects and, and getting involved, uh, you know, mentoring is something near and dear to my heart. It's actually how I got started in open source 20 plus years ago when, you know, someone kind of took a chance on me to teach me a little little Linux things back way, way, way back in the day. I feel a little old now, but that's that's good. We have we have a great community in CNCF that we've built around mentoring. Uh, we have folks that show up and mentor mentor new folks, how to contribute code, docs, and so on. So I want to thank everyone that has participated in this. And, and, and the important thing to stress here is this is truly a way of 
bringing new contributions, new maintainers, and cultivating new leaders in our ecosystem. And I kind of want to point out a specific example of how this works in our community. So um, I don't know if many of you know, but uh, Nikita, who is an amazing uh, individual, I haven't seen you yet, uh, but I'm sure you're somewhere here, is she started out our journey in, in our community by being a mentee back in 2017. I don't know how many of you remember when Kubernetes CRDs were a new thing. They were pretty new back then. She improved them as a mentee in a project. After she was done successfully, she became a mentor herself and helped others after her. Then she became a maintainer and technical lead in the Kubernetes project, eventually going up the ladder and becoming part of the steering committee in Kubernetes, which is a leadership position there, and eventually attaining the highest technical leadership position in CNCF on our CNCF technical operating committee. So this whole path of mentee to mentor to maintainer and leader is something that we want to continue to invest in. CNCF has spent you know, over a quarter million dollars in mentorships and so on, and we plan to double and triple down on this over time. So my biggest asks for folks in this room is, please take the time to mentor someone new. Or if you're brand new to the community, come on in. There's a lot of you know, fun, you know, interesting ideas that you kind of work on, and please participate in this so we could kind of continue to build the future uh, leaders and maintainers in our community. So uh, check out mentoring.cncf.io. We're about to start our next tranche of, of mentorship. So thank you, Nikita. Hopefully you're somewhere uh, in, in the audience. I'll run into you later. The, the, the other thing I would like to share is, so we truly have a global community here, right? And for a lot of us that are new, uh, I even sometimes run into this issue is, there's a lot of crazy terminology in cloud native land, like service meshes, EPPF, pods, replica sets. It could be a little bit confusing for folks when they first come here and learn a little bit about Kubernetes and cloud native. So we have made a glossary available for everyone to kind of get started, learn the basics, learn the terminology. We have folks all over the world that speak different languages. Uh, and you know, our glossary is now available in eight languages as of today, which is awesome. Thank you for our community that has been uh, you know, working on this. Uh, as of, someone actually informed me as of this morning, there's actually nine languages. Urdu was, 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 was uh, contributed last night as our language. But I truly hope that folks find this resource uh, useful to get started. And uh, I'd really like to thank uh, Catherine Pag Paginini, who I saw yesterday, to really spearhead this idea. I admit I was a little bit skeptical at first, but it's truly been an amazing resource uh, for folks out there. So thank you, Catherine. Catherine, and I would love to see a Danish contribution uh, potentially happen uh, this week, so thanks. The other thing that we've been doing is um, something that I've kind of struggled a little bit with my career is I don't know how many people in this room sometimes have a, a little bit trouble explaining to their friends or family what do you actually do all, you know, all day? My parents have no idea. I just say I work on computers, and then that's generally you know, good enough. But something we've been doing in the community is we've been doing these little documentaries, sharing stories about how projects get started, filming the maintainers and contributors involved, interviewing adopters. And so today, I'm happy to announce we have our next version of this called Inside Envoy, which is a story of how Envoy got started. I think a lot of people don't re truly realize how much software is used. Anytime you book an Airbnb, use a lot of iCloud services, book a Lyft, all of this stuff is powered by Envoy. So please check this out. These are resources you can actually share with your at least my parents and family to kind of get them to understand what you actually do and, and the software that you work on. So please check this out. We have our film screening available this Thursday. Uh, and, and thank you for all the maintainers that kind of participated in this. So it's, it's, it's been fun for us. So to kind of end things with a final thought. So, you know, the, the, main, con the, the, the main kind of uh, currency of, of open source is, is contribution, right? I think you know, it's truly the way to sustain projects to ensure that they continue to remain healthy and innovative. And hopefully today you've learned that there are many ways to contribute. It could be code, it could be docs, it could be translations, it could be, you know, hosting an event in your local neighborhood. It could be helping someone new in the community find their way to, uh, this, to a place in this massive venue. So something that I want to challenge folks. So uh, for the, for the 58% of you new, okay, raise your hand. Who's new? Who's first KubeCon ever? 
Oh, yeah, it's pretty crazy uh, from, from up here. Awesome. So for you that are new, try to do your first contribution this, this, this week. Open an issue. Meet someone new. Learn about a technology. Truly try to contribute something. We have this amazing little stickers and stories you could share with us. For the 42% of you that are Cloud Native veterans, with those hands that you saw raised, make a friend. Help them out. Truly bring them into our community. We all truly, you know, make ourselves better by welcoming in new folks and spending the time to help them to kind of grow the next generation of cloud native contribution uh, and leaders. And so, uh, with with that final thought, um, I want to first welcome everyone to Amsterdam and thank you for uh, being here. And truly hope all y'all learned something new this week that you could bring back home and hopefully make some new friends. So, thank you uh, very much and welcome to the largest KubeCon, Cloud Native Con in Europe.